Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Sarah, and this is the third part of a four-part uh, series that I'm doing on mediums that I use in my coloring books. So this is the next grouping, and this particular grouping is a grouping of books that have very similar paper quality. So I did not go through each of these books and test out different things because um, all of the paper quality in these books are the same. So I only had to do it for one or two books just to kind of test out what I've got. And I'm going to show you um, the pictures that I did get finished in the books. Um, and we'll kind of go from there. Um, so let me show you the books that I have first. Um, so again, this is kind of a, a little series on um, not only sharing to you um, or with you what coloring books I do have, but the mediums that are good for these particular books. So to start off with Fantastic Landscapes, here is the author. And for each one of these books, I have an individual video down below that you'll, you can see um, if you click on my name, the title of, of my um, page, I think it's uh, Sarah's Coloring Book Reviews and Art Supply Reviews. Um, if you click on that, it will bring up a whole list of all the videos that I have. Um, and you can find each one of these books individually reviewed. So I'm not going to individually review each one of these books in this series. So anyway, uh, Fantastic Cityscapes. Hashtag Teacher Life, a snarky chalk board coloring book collection. Beautiful creatures. And in here, I have got this, this partially done one. Um, this is of the butterflies, uh, the monarch butterfly. And this was done in Prismacolor. So you can kind of see the Prismacolor on these paper qualities. Um, so that's this book. Next, we have uh, Coloring with Your Octopus. And in here, I did have a test page. So, I'm going to zoom in on this page a little bit. We can kind of go from here. Um, so, we've got watercolor. Now, the paper quality in these books are really thin. Um, they are not as th thin as the Dover coloring books or the um, Amazon's Create Space coloring books. However, they are thin. Um, you can hear the paper quality... You know, it, it is pretty thin. So it, it is just a tad thicker than um, copy paper or printer paper. But as you can see, um, the watercolor does really well with this paper if you're very careful with the amount of water that you use. So that is that. Um, this little heart, I don't know if you can see it very well in her hat right here. It's green. Um, that is fine liners. They do great in here too. Uh, Karen Dosh Neo Color 2. This is also a water based medium. Fantastic. The smooth lay down is great. Uh, Gelados. Again, um, it's a smoother lay down. Um, it's not as smooth as either one of these, um, but it is nice. Um, these are the recollection collections of um, another water based. Um, oh, what do you call it? Uh, Crayon, a water-based crayon, a water-based pastel stick, um, one of those type of things. With the Recollections, though, you're going to have the sparkle in it. Recollections have sparkles. You can kind of see it in there when I gleam it off the light. Um, so they do have sparkles. Um, the other ones do not. Oh, lost my light. Let me kind of put that back up there. There we go. All right, next we've got, um, this one is a Spectrum Noir colored pencil. It does really well. The lay down is really good. This one is the Prismacolor. Um, for these particular books, I'm not a fan of Prismacolor um, because they do kind of have a pattern to them when you lay them down um, and you really have to burnish them into the page to get that out. So you can kind of see in here uh, that has no pattern. This has kind of a, a pattern to it. Um, these are the Faber-Castell um, 
polychromos. And they work really well too. They are smooth. Um, they are not as smooth as the Spectrum Noir, which is the red one right here. These are Crayola. They work fantastic. Uh, surprisingly, Crayola does work really, really well on some books. Other books I would not recommend. Um, this one is gel pens. And over here in the corner, we've got chalk pastels. Um, chalk pastels I use for backgrounds a lot. I would not recommend chalk pastels in these books. Um, things I would absolutely recommend based on these, based on these here, um, I would recommend watercolor. And these are the Koi watercolor um, little tiny travel pack. Um, so that's what these this brand is. Um, so I would recommend watercolor. I would recommend the Neo uh, Color 2s. I would recommend Recollections. I would not recommend Gelatos because um, it is kind of grainy to the touch um, on this particular paper. Um, they've worked great on other types of paper, but I would not recommend them for this. You have to use a lot of water to get them to smooth out really well, and it's just not a possibility on this type of paper. As far as colored pencils go, I would recommend the Spectrum Noir colored pencils. I would recommend the Polychromos colored pencils and also the Crayola colored pencils. All of those work really well. Um, Prismacolor would work great um, as long as you are willing to burnish it in. Otherwise, I would skip those for, this, for these sets of coloring books and kind of go on to something different. Gel pens work great, fine liners work great, and the chalk pastels I would not recommend in these books. So that is my recommendations for this set of books that I'm getting ready to go through here. Um, the next one that I have, um, To the Deep, To the Ocean Deep, and it's a sibling book, uh, To the Moon, the Harry Potter coloring book, Secret Tokyo, and again, in this particular one, I kind of went through and showed you, um, just so you know, I am telling the truth for these. I did them in a couple different books here, um, the tests um, anyway. And I wanted to show you um, that my recommendations remain the same. Um, and I used a couple more in this particular book than I was able to in the other book because it had no test page. Um, and this book I used the back kind of index for my test page, um, which allows me to do things that might um, bleed through to the other side. So um, here is the Gelados. Here is the recollect Recollections. Karen Dosh Neo Color 2s. This is a Aqua Spe Spectrum Noir marker. Um, would not recommend these at all in these books. The Spectrum Noir alcohol markers. I would not recommend these at all in these books just because the paper quality is, is too thin. Pastels doesn't work very good at all. There is no smooth lay down even when you spread it out with your finger or use a tool to spread it out. It's just not it doesn't spread well. The tooth on the paper is such it just doesn't look that great. Um, fine liners and gel pens both work fantastic. Um, again, watercolor. Um, this is the Koi watercolor. Worked fantastic. Was just a great spread of color. It, it is smooth to the touch. It did not crinkle the page a whole lot. If you're careful with your water um, and control that very well, you won't have the paper crinkling um, as much. Um, so for these four here are um, the colored pencil. Um, this is Prismacolor and you can still see on this, let me zoom in just a bit more so you can see it very well, uh, the Prismacolor because of the tooth of the paper it just does not lay down very smooth. Um, Faber-Castell Polychromos very smooth, Spectrum Noir very smooth, and Crayola was pretty smooth as well. So I just kind of wanted to go over one more of those. And that was in Secret Tokyo. Uh, the Mandala Coloring Book. 
Alice's Nightmare in Wonderland. Great book for an adult, not a great book for a child. Um, Legendary Landscapes, the Pocket Coloring Book Edition. This is the single-sided edition, not the full edition. The full edition is huge. It's like 12 by 12 inches. It's a very big book. So this is not the full edition. This is just the pocket one. Uh, Balance by Angie Grace. Manic Botanic. And last but not least, uh, The Mystical Lands of Uchana. And in this book, I did complete one in here. And this is done with Crayola. I wanted to show you that even Crayola has the ability to look very decent in um, coloring books. Um, this was done uh, about a month ago, and it... Turned out great, I think. Um, the quality of the colors on the page just look really nice. So um, Crayola does work really well in these books. So this was one of the shorter um, episodes of the series that I'm doing. Thank you so much for watching, and um, again, happy coloring.